636 right now. There are several COVID-19 vaccines that are in human clinical trials right now and more than 100 worldwide in development. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now with the novel technology. Uh, Haley, this isn't even a traditional shot. Yeah, it's not really, and that's fine, actually. Dr. Anthony Fauci says we will probably need a number of options of vaccines so manufacturers will be able to keep up with the demand, meaning that, you know, even the syringes, vials, and everything that it takes to distribute these vaccines would be plentiful. And scientists are on the cusp of something very unique that wouldn't really require any of that. Scientists at the University of Pittsburgh have a history of fighting a deadly disease. It's here that Jonas Salk developed the vaccine that cured polio. Now researchers are working on a new way to stop COVID-19 in its tracks. So for this vaccine, we're going to deliver the antigen with a novel technology that's uh, referred to as a dissolvable microneedle array. The drug would be administered to patients on a small patch the size of a postage stamp, like putting on a Band-Aid with tiny dissolvable needles. The microneedle array is simply applied to the skin topically, pressed into place very shortly, and then taken off and thrown away. Dr. Andrea Gambodo had previous experience with two epidemic, SARS in 2003 and MERS in 2014. Both are related to this novel coronavirus, so scientists said they already knew to look for a particular protein called a spike protein. By inducing an uh, anti antibody uh, response against this uh, uh, protein, you block uh, the entry of the virus into the cell. The vaccine works like the flu shot does, building the body's immunity by inserting lab-made pieces of the virus. It's been successful in mice. And we found that the anim animal responded to the vaccine, mounting an immune response. And now they say that this one is ready for humans. The researchers have had discussions with the FDA regarding drug approval before they can begin those human trials. They're calling this one, guys, the PITCOVAC. It stands for Pittsburgh Coronavirus Vaccine. So obviously one that I'll be paying attention to. Indeed. And shout out to all the Yinzers in Pittsburgh. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Haley.